Hello, and welcome to GCSE Physics Explained. In this video, you will learn what longitudinal waves are, that longitudinal waves transfer energy and information without transferring matter, to describe how sound waves behave, to define and use the following terms when describing longitudinal waves. Frequency, wavelength, amplitude, period, wave speed. All waves are either transverse waves or longitudinal waves. In this video, we are only looking at longitudinal waves. We look at transverse waves in another video. See the link above. Examples of longitudinal waves are sound waves. P waves, which are a type of seismic wave caused by earthquakes. All waves transfer energy from one place to another without transferring matter. The matter, which means the solid liquid or gas particles that the wave is travelling through, simply vibrate. In the case of longitudinal waves, the vibration of the particles is in the same direction that the energy travels. For example, sound waves are longitudinal waves. When the sound energy travels through the air, the particles in the air vibrate forwards, then backwards, about a fixed position. This creates areas of high pressure called compressions and areas of low pressure called rarefactions. We use the following terms to describe waves. Wavelength, frequency, amplitude, period, wave speed. Period is the length of time it takes for one complete wave to pass a given point. Period and frequency are related by the following equation. Period equals 1 divided by frequency. T equals 1 divided by F. Period is measured in seconds, S. Frequency is measured in hertz, HZ. Here are examples showing how to calculate the time period. A wave with a frequency of 2 Hz, period equals 1 divided by F equals 1 divided by 2 Hz equals 0.5 seconds. A wave with a frequency of 10 Hz, period equals 1 divided by F equals 1 divided by 10 Hz equals 0.1 seconds. The higher the frequency, the shorter the period. Wave speed. The wave speed is the speed that the wave moves in the direction it is traveling. Wave speed will be covered in another video in more depth. Here's how you represent longitudinal waves on a diagram. Compression, 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 rarefaction, rarefaction, compression, an area of high pressure due to particles being squashed together. 
rarefaction, an area of low pressure due to particles being spread out. Amplitude. The amplitude of a longitudinal wave is difficult to show on a longitudinal wave, so it is not likely to be asked for in a GCSE exam, so is not being shown. Wavelength is the distance from a point on one wave to the same point on the next wave in metres. It has the symbol lambda. The easiest way to show wavelength is from compression to compression. Or from rarefaction to rarefaction. Frequency is the number of waves passing a point each second, measured in hertz. It has the symbol F. More waves per second equals higher frequency. Examples There are two waves in one second, so frequency is two hertz. There are three waves in one second, so frequency is three hertz. There are four waves in one second, so frequency is four hertz. Notice that as the frequency gets bigger, the wavelength gets smaller. In this video you have learned what longitudinal waves are, that longitudinal waves transfer energy and information without transferring matter, to describe how sound waves behave, to define and use the following terms to describe longitudinal waves, frequency, wavelength, amplitude, period, wave speed. If you want to see more videos like this to help increase your knowledge, subscribe to my channel, GCSE Physics Explained. Thanks very much. See you in the next one.